Hello and welcome to a short video on how to rescue lost files. This video was being filmed on a Windows XP machine. It's old, it's dirty, it's a virtual machine. The reason I'm doing this, it's a familiar environment for a lot of people. And a lot of people still use it or the files they may rescue are on the old machine. We're going to go with the assumption that you had a USB backup drive. I did a little video on USB drives explaining how they are and what causes some of the problems with the partitions. And we're going to assume that your USB drive is either completely dead, failed, or you have deleted files. The very first thing we'll do is what do you do if you accidentally delete files on your USB drive? Then we'll do a very quick video on what to do if you accidentally delete the partition. This could be by uh, a virus or maybe you meant to format a camera card and you accidentally formatted your USB backup drive. All right, very first part of the video is what do you do when you delete your files? For, first thing to remember is the internet is powered by kitty cat photos. So if we delete files and we don't have kitty cat photos, the internet will shut down. So if you delete your kitty cat photos, you will destroy the internet. The important other thing to remember is that deleting files is done in two different ways. You can recycle files and you can hard delete. When you recycle files, like these right here called Recycle Me, You see those how it says, we want to send those to the recycle bin. And you've all done that. You've sent things to recycle bin. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. You open up your recycle bin and you click restore. Those files have been recycled. They have not been deleted. Now if you go in here and you find your files and you highlight them and you hit the shift key and then delete, that's a hard delete. They are gone. The reason I point that out is these files are in two different locations on the drive. We come in here, we empty the recycle bin. You think, oh, I cleaned that drive off, and then bingo, you find out that's the wrong drive. You thought that was the camera card, and you just wiped your backup drive. Don't panic. As long as you don't do a lot of stuff, you can get your video right back. Go in here, and you grab your rescue CD. Now you can have a program already pre-installed on your Windows operating system uh, to allow file recovery or you can run off a rescue CD. If you have something pre-installed that's fine. I often tell people do not go and install a recovery program if you have accidentally deleted something from the main partition. You may write over your files and make yourself very miserable. So we slide the CD in. This can be downloaded anywhere. You do a Google search for Hiren's Boot CD 15.1. He's got versions go way back. Uh, a lot of them have utilities. And for a lot of people out there, you go, hey, there's this, there's that, there's that. Yes, there's a thousand ways to recover files. I'm focusing on this CD. Someone has already burned a copy of it. They have it in a desk drawer. They have it on a shelf. And they want to slap it in and do a very quick recovery. I'm not giving everyone every option of recovery. And there's 50 million programs on here. I'm just going to give you a very simple program. One way of doing it, you know there's a dozen different ways. Even on this simple rescue CD. Uh, nope, on the upgrade. On this, this rescue CD, you'll find a half dozen programs to save the files. If you like to experiment with them, put an old drive in, delete a couple files, see if you can cover. Experiment, get your skill set up, it's a great thing to do. But if not, I'm just doing a quick video for someone who uh, has asked for it, they deleted some files and they don't know much about what to do. So, Recurvia, you can download it off of websites, get the newer version, it works great. But, if you delete it off your primary partition, try to rescue CD. We don't want to accidentally overwrite files. If you know it's just pictures, you pick pictures, you pick the documents, or you can just say all files. And then if you know the location, you just browse through it. And we do know the location, don't we, folks? And we hit there. Deep scan is if you want to go and find stuff that may be in a, a difficult area, won't show up. Always start with the defaults first. This is the feature I wanted to show you guys. Very simple. There's the files. You notice they're back in the original folders. But everything that was called Recycle Me, you notice that they have been removed into the recycler. 
a lot of unbleat utilities will show a file structure. People will go through the file structure. They cannot find a file. The reason they can't find it, you did not delete it from the folder you're looking in. You deleted it from the recycler folder. All you do is have to hit everything, hit recover, pick a spot, or put it up on desktop, make a new folder, and there you go. You recovered your files. You are now a hero to the internet because after all your hard work, we now have cat videos. Thank you very much. That's a very short video on how to recover your files using the rescue CD. Next video I'm putting up is Windows Environment, How to Mount a Damaged Partition. Thank you. I hope this helps someone out. If you guys know more tricks, absolutely, please make videos. we got a lot of computer people out there that know their skill set. They need to share it. Help the new people out. Thank you very much and have a great time.